Okay, so yeah, I'm Nathan Montavani, and uh, I'm a undergrad at Princeton, a senior this year, and uh, it's pretty exciting. It's a good time. It's a good place to be. New Jersey's maybe not the greatest state in the world, so I live in mom, but I really like it. I really enjoyed my time as an undergraduate, and most importantly, um, Princeton kind of catapulted me into my like life path as a geologist. So, uh, a little bit about me as Nathan, the man. Um, so I, uh, since middle school, I've run track and field and cross country. It's kind of the center, the core of my identity. Uh, this is me running with a bunch of uh, Princeton guys up in Mammoth Lakes, California, which is up in the Sierras. Um, and I've run like for a very long time at the national level, and it's awesome. And it's like been really, really instrumental in my like developing discipline as a person and just being kind of more, I don't know, focused and uh, I think it's really informed kind of my interest in science because I feel like as a scientist you can be very, like if you work hard and you put effort into something you get results, which is something I really like the idea of. So um, yeah, um, I also, aside from being interested in science, um, I'm very interested in writing. Um, so I'm an associate editor for the Daily Princetonian Opinion section. So um, I get work on over about 30 different columnists, and uh, we like talk about their work and publish daily, every day, hundreds of times a year. Uh, so I get to read lots and lots of columns and help one-on-one -on -one talking with a bunch of columnists about what they do as writers and kind of thinking about writing, what's the purpose of writing, how can you be a more effective communicator. And I feel like this has really helped me kind of improve myself as a scientist because I feel like the one stumbling block I see a lot when I'm in science is people being too opaque in their writing and making it really, really difficult to convey, like communicate their scientific ideas. So I really want to kind of get into science and break into that in a way that we can make science more accessible, not only to lay people, which is important because there is kind of division between scientists and lay people, but also to each other, because I think that the better scientists can communicate with one another and uh, kind of drop the rhetoric at times, I think that would be a good thing. So this is kind of something I wrote on my like gift proposal when we put it on the website. Like I love editing, I love reading any kind of writing, so anytime you have like questions about proposals or like papers that you're writing, of course, of the next two years, I'll be like just shoot me an email with a draft and I'd love to just edit it and kind of check it out. I have a lot of experience doing that. Cool. Um, so, more about me is, uh, besides the man being the brother, I'm the brother, this is my family. Um, that's me with my medal. This is like when I first started running. Uh, this is my little brother uh, in my sister's arms. So, uh, my parents are awesome. Uh, my dad is actually um, a national best-selling author. Um, he wrote a book called Kefir Boy which I'm not sure if any of you have heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> you might have heard of it. <laughs> yeah, so it's taught in some high school. You met my dad? Okay, that's cool. We'll have to talk later. But, um, so yeah, he, he, he wrote um, Cafe Boy, which is, um, it was an Oprah Book Club book, and that kind of catapulted us into, like, having, a, like, a good existence, um, which was nice. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so that's probably a little bit from where my uh, writing, love of writing stems from, and my mom loves writing. And so my sister and me and my brother um, all go to Princeton. So my sister graduated two years ago with the first kind of generation of our family to be involved in the Ivy League, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of close, tight knit group, so we all decided to go to the same place. So this is a picture of us. Um, yeah, and cool. uh, we're pretty awesome. Uh, pretty awesome bunch. My brother is actually in Senegal right now um, for a bridge year. He's going to start his freshman at Princeton in next year. So he's just hanging out in Dakar. Oh wow, I have one minute. Okay, I thought I had more time. So uh, me as a geologist. So um, I got into geology as a sophomore. I started as a civil engineering major. Um, and I liked it, but then I took my first geology course and we went on the field trip and it just was like no, no comparison. Like I knew I loved, I wanted to be out in the field, I wanted to do field work. Um, so this is a picture of me in um, the Rhone Valley in France, where I was last fall looking at carbonate platform evolution. Um, and I realized while I was doing that that I kind of 
was more interested in the structure of the rocks than how the carbonates themselves form. So I'm really interested in kind of like rock deformation, structural geology, and uh, tectonics. That's what I'm going to be applying for next year. Um, hopefully start as a graduate student next fall in a master's program, if everything pans out correctly. Um, and there's a picture of me at recess, um, which I did last summer with Jenny. And this is the entire recess group. If any of you are still undergraduates or first year master's students, you should definitely apply for this program because it's awesome. I'm getting the time, but um, I'll talk more about my research on one-on-ones with you guys if you're interested. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very good.